Today's lesson is about the release point. If you look at this photo, you can see the orange lines, and that's where both arms are straight, and the club is right in between the two arms, and the body of the club is pointing at the chest. I'll show you that position in a minute. But it's very important, a lot of people release at the ball, not through the ball, to an imaginary point about two feet in front of the ball. You can also look at how much my lower body is going to move. That's I'm on the yellows, and as I swing, you can see that I stay pretty centered, my lower body, and now as I come through and I get to the impact area, you can see how much further forward my lower body is, even though my head is in the same place. And if there was a ball there, this is when I would be striking it. Now the arms and hands are rotating and the right arm, hand, and wrist is straightening to this position right here. That's the release point. That's where you want maximum speed in the club head. So when you go play, a really good thing is to imagine that you are throwing to this spot right there, about two feet in front of the ball. In the early 90s, Nick Price was the number one player in the world. And I had an opportunity to fly home with him from Atlanta. And he told me all he thought about was this, releasing to this point right here where this orange bag is. So all he thought about was releasing to right here. And he said all he thought about was getting there and to his finish. And he talked about how this is the place where the shoulders have matched up, so the shoulder line is here. The hips are matched up, so the shoulders and hips are right pretty much in the same place here. And the club and your arms and hands are right in front of your chest, almost like set up if you moved your feet. So this is where you want to release to. Don't release at the ball release through to an imaginary spot about two feet in front of the ball. And just remember, as you're releasing, your arms and hands are also rotating. Look at the rotary force of the arms and hands. Watch the hands rotate. See how my glove is facing you right now? Well, watch the hands rotate as they go into the bag. Very important for speed and distance. I hope that helps.